So, first of all, we almost got into an accident getting to that location. This road, guys, he risked our life and our car. Our car had to stop along the way because it couldn't enter this water. We had to pass this road just to get to the key study, and then it is not even functional due to the bad road. I am still in shock. Imo State Government, Iagwa, like you guys. This is bad, and this is a post office. You guys, we're going back currently. So, this is it. Sometimes, this is our reality. As a kid student, that's part of it. We go out to the field, and we see stuff like this because this. Architecture has one of the most difficult courses to study and goes as a challenge to most students. And studying it in developing countries like my country, Nigeria, can make it even more difficult and expose us, the students, to horrific experiences. Um, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys some of my experience, horrific experience, bad experience studying architecture and going for architectural key studies and some of the experiences of my friends who are doing the same course. Uh, Meru, but if you are doing so well, this is Meru, but mm. nothing is happening there now. So self in like security risk where people get to tell us that we're not supposed to be here, we should leave this community as soon as possible. Look at this bad room now. Case studies are very integral in our study in architecture and for it we are giving design topics every semester so we are expected to visit already existing buildings that are related to each topic and also to make inquiries get gather information and most times get the building plan of that existing facility okay and this is where it gets funny case study gang then after the bad rules, we will see. God, God, I beg you. Most times, some of us are given design topics that are related to rural settlements. When I say rural settlements, for instance, designing a palace for a kind of primitive village or designing um, a kind of rural town hall that would require some of us visiting the area and making inquiries about their culture, getting to know the communities. And most times when we visit these places, we are not accepted at the instance. Sometimes they see us as a threat. I don't know why, but I've experienced this most of the times. And sometimes we find ourselves in like security risk where people get to tell us that we're not supposed to be here. We should leave this community as soon as possible. Uh, we should not come here without security and the rest of it. So that's one apart. Sometimes some of us get into trouble going for case study in police stations. I can remember a lot of funny stories that we've had and luckily I've not designed um, a police station so far but some of my classmates who were given the topic most of them got into quite a trouble uh, you guys we put our life in danger to come here And the reality, God. But due to this bad road now, I know what Wow. Then when Okay, most recently, we were given a case study. I was given a case study that required me visiting a post office 
around Owere and the experience was interesting. Um, we got to one location and the place was an ISO. First of all, we almost got into an accident getting to that location. And away from that, when we got to the facility, we got to know that it was an abandoned project. Like we were so, 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 so disappointed, annoyed, and the rest of it. We wasted money, we wasted our strength, we risked our lives to get there and then the facility is non-functional. I'm going to share the videos I need. I filmed there with you guys. Like, if you have been so worried, this is my room. But mm. nothing is happening there now. The mail room, there's nothing happening there now. Because I am alone in the office. Hmm? Okay. And this leads Can I enter to inside? And this place is from the people's property. Because of how the environment is. I no longer put their letters in their boxes. Okay, they come to your office. Yes, so that. But you can't keep on doing letters there. And for me to go down and do it, I cannot because of how the place is closed. Hmm? So I cannot go to the Sorry, promise. Um. You guys, so we had to pass through this road, guys. You really our life and our car. Our car had to stop along the way because it couldn't enter the water. It had to pass this road. Just to get to the case study and then it is not even functional due to the bad way. I am still in shock. Imo State Government, Iawa, like you guys. Oh this is bad and this is a post office. The road leading to Futu Iyawa Road. This is what it looks like. And this goes further, guys. Like, you don't even... This goes further than what you can see here. Like, literally, this is what the post office looks like. So people from here, if they order a parcel or something, they get an email or something, there's just one worker here. And... He took us around. They just want to walk out here and took us around the building. He said we should at least we should have back at the government. So that's one of my guys. He's the one in charge of sketching and the one taking pictures and everything. I know we follow here, man. I know we for. Currently, we are waiting for our driver us back. We've been waiting for more than I think 20 minutes or so. My guys just did it big game. We did that side it was assignment. And somebody went to withdraw. Give this video a thumbs up. The man no shoe. Guy, <laughs> you never even do the assignment. How you go run them now? How did they run the bus guy? What did they give enough for assignment? Eh? How's it going? I know you snap it, but they blew up, bro. It's business, bro. This guy just raised our whole promo driver, no green shoe again, no. Guys, we are going. Tetachi. <laughs> You guys, we are going back currently. So this is it. Sometimes this is our reality. As Aki students, that's part of it. We go out to the field and 
You see stuff like this because this road, ah, this road bad, gone, guys. This road bad. And then the actual building, in as much as the spaces are functional and everything is actually well planned in the building, but it was mismanaged, guys. Imo State Government, Tiagua Local Government. Ah, you guys, no, no try you. No, no try because if I should order a parcel and then this is the reality of the post office. I don't think, I don't think I would like it. And sometimes when the kids study in a police station or a government property, some of us get into trouble when we get there and we make our intentions known to them that we want to get the building plan of the structure. And this is as a result of our unsupervised activities. Okay, now normally we are supposed to go with supervisors, but right here most times they leave us to go on these expeditions or field study alone and sometimes without signed documents to show our identity as students and also most times without supervisors to at least save us from dangerous situations where we might be oblivious of um so if you've watched so far and you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you guys on my next one Peace out.